I discovered the Beatles when I was 10 years old. I am now 20. Um, I didn't know much about them, except for what I had seen on the television show that turned me on to them and a few of their songs. And being a preteen young girl, I fell for the cute one. Paul was my first favorite Beatle. I actually did know the most about John, because, well, He's the beetle that everyone knows about. The one with the glasses. Um, the one that wrote Imagine. Just your average person these days only knows those things about John, you know, the hippie um, and all that. And I knew a little bit more about him than just that. I knew his songs, I knew a bit about his personality from what I'd seen on the TV, but I didn't like John. <laughs> he, was, he was very different from anyone I had ever encountered or even heard of. Um, not in the same way that Lady Gaga is different. Not that people 30 years from now will know who she is. But John was different, and I couldn't put my finger on it, and I actually still can't. Someone once asked me why I love John Lennon so much. And the only answer I could give was because he's John. This was a while ago, but I still stand by that. John is too, too complex to put into words. His music and his personality and his life, everything about the man, full of contradictions. And so magical, almost unreal. Um, I hope that when I'm 50, when this time capsule is open, I'll be better able to understand and put into words how I feel about John Lennon and why. Um, sometimes when I'm walking to class with a friend of mine, I'll just randomly start laughing or smiling, and he'll ask me, what's up? And I'll just say, I love John so much. And of course it's ridiculous. <laughs> I know you think so, and he thinks so as well, and I get a good laugh out of it too, but it's true. John makes me so happy, and <laughs> I'm tearing up right now just thinking about how how much I love him, how much he means to me, and how he makes me feel, and I really can't put it into words. <laughs> That's the point of this video, trying to put things into words, but I can't. So I guess I just want to end this by saying, people of the future, I know you won't forget about John Lennon, but don't even think about it. <laughs>